like to look at how best to insert video into a page. Now, video files are big files, so you've got two options here, and one is definitely preferable over the other. The first option would be to upload your video in the same way as we did with the audio file. <coughs> However, I wouldn't recommend that. Your file size is likely to be very big, so you're likely to use up your quota. So I'm going to recommend a second option, which is embedding uh, a video clip that you've actually hosted somewhere else. Uh, and there are a couple of possibilities for this. One would be YouTube. You could upload within YouTube um, in a restricted account. Uh, there are other issues around that that you might have to look at, which is how are you going to make sure that the right permissions are carried through into Mahara. So the second one, which is perhaps a little simpler, is to use a Vimeo account. That's V-I-M-E-O. Now, let me show you what a Vimeo account looks like. So this is me logged into Vimeo. Um, I don't use it very often for video because we have other um, solutions available, but it is quite a useful way of creating private videos if you want to share with certain people just with a password. So if you add a video, it's all very easy. You can see there's a big upload button here. So having made my video, I upload it. Vimeo then will send me an email to say it's ready and I can work with it. It takes very little time to do, but it, it will convert it and put it on its servers and then let you know when it's ready. And having got an uploaded video, you've got the option then of restricting access to it. So here you can see the video that I've already uploaded, and you can see that I've got some settings against that video. Um, and within these settings, I've actually included a password. So I've edited the settings to include password-only access to this video. Um, and then I'm not only sharing the video, I'm also obviously sharing a, video, uh, a password so that people know how to do that. Once the video is there, I can just click on the share button. Now, you can see this is a private video, and this is the screen that will be presented to anybody who tries to access the video. But that little box there, that preview box, is exactly what will appear within my Mahar if I follow these instructions. So first I'm going to go to the embed code, click on it, and copy it onto my clipboard. And now I'm going to take that information back into my Mahara page. So let's go back into my demo page, turn on the editing. Now remember, I've still got the embed code copied on the clipboard of my computer. So to get that embed code displaying within my page, I'm going to go to um, the general tab here. And I'm going to use this little text box. So this is the final one of the list here, a text box or an HTML box. Drag and drop that to where I want it. Uh, let's call this my Mahara video. And now I'm going to click on the HTML to edit the HTML source code within this box. Now, this is where I'm going to paste my um, HTML code that I've copied from the Vimeo site. Now, you don't have to understand um, HTML particularly here, but you can see that within the HTML here, there are there's information to the player to tell it the size that you want to display and to tell it the URL that needs to be displayed. So that's the information that is being taken through. I'm going to click Update. You can see that's starting to preview, and then going to click Save. And now you can see that starting to appear here. Now, already, even in the preview mode, in the edit mode here, I can see that that's a little bit longer than maybe I want it to be. So I may want to come in and configure that. But for now, I'm going to click Done, and then go back into my page. Now, in order to play the video, I'm going to obviously have to put the password in. So if you're putting this into a page, you're going to need to add some um, 
an, an instruction here about the password. Give the password um, perhaps in a, just a text box on the page next to the video. Um, I'm just going to edit this page one more time because I would like this to fit tidily into the boundaries of my display. So if I come back into the HTML, I'm going to take the width down to just 400 rather than 500 pixels and then save. And then everything fits neatly within my screen. And when I play this back, um, I can full screen it anyway. So I don't need to worry about the size that it's displaying on the page.